all right guys welcome back to the channel this is traveling 44 and as you can see we have reached 100 subscribers and i'm really grateful for that I'm really grateful for the support and everything that you people are putting behind me and then i'm really glad that you people are enjoying the content if you've not subscribed already you know what to do like just subscribe and then let's move on it will only take a few minutes for this particular video i'm going to be talking about what functions are basically i'm not going to go into a very detailed explanation of what a function is i'm only going to do um, three major things so as you can see on the screen we'll first look at what a function is generally then we'll look at some python functions and then talk about why you should use functions and then when you should actually use them the first issue here is what is a function now in my own way of talking about functions i would say that function is basically a chunk of code that does a particular thing so if i write a code that maybe tells me the time i could make it a function now these functions could um, take in input and give an output depending on who is writing it or what you want the function to do the function is doing something that requires an input then the function would need an input if the function is doing something that would return something then basically the function will be returning something will be bringing something back from everything that it has done now in python if you want to define a function as you can see on the screen basically this is what you do this is a syntax for this uh, define a function now this particular function i have right here finds the square of any number that's given to it so obviously you can see that it takes in an input and then it brings back it returns an output which would be the square now, if I run this particular code, if I run this function, I've created a function. Now, one thing about functions is that they can be used um, again, over and over again. So, if I create a function once and I need to do the same thing again, I just need to call the function and then I'll be able to do that then. So, I've written a function to find the square of any number that is given to it. So, over here, when I wrote square of 5, when I call the function and passed in 5 as the input, I'm able to run this and then get 25. I could equally um, change in this input to maybe um, 6. Then it will actually calculate the input for me as that, so the output for me as 36. So the main idea over here is that functions help make your life easier when you think about it. So instead of me writing um the same code to calculate the square of five and then at another place where i need to calculate the square of six i write another code for calculating the square of six i could just write it in a much more general way put it in a function and anytime i want to find the square of a number i call that function and pass in the number to it now, i've written another function over here it basically greets the user now it takes in the username and then says hello username like based on the name that you give it now the idea here is that the function this particular function doesn't return anything it doesn't return an output but it takes in an input so if i run this and i do something like greet user and i pass in the string tom it's going to create a, it's going to print out a customized message with the name dom dominic Toretto. <laughs> now let's go back to the actual importance of the function i think i've covered it in the video but i should state it again why should you use a function now i think i mentioned that the, the functions make your life easier and that is very true you get to you know put a chunk of code in a particular general form and then be able to use that chunk of code everywhere else in your you know your whole source code which means that you don't need to be writing the same thing over and over again or doing the same thing over and over again for example when i was calculating the square of six i could have written six times six then again when i was calculating the square of five i could have written five times five over there but then because i've created a function for it i don't need to be writing five times five or six times six or seven times seven all i need to do is to call the function and then pass in there the necessary input and then it to do the square for me to calculate the square for me so it makes your life easier that's the most important part of it and yes basically that's it it helps you organize your code too because the thing is in chunk like it helps you organize the code into maybe um, a certain chunk which can be used elsewhere so organization is there but the most important thing is how it helps make your life easier 
Finally, I would like to end this video on one major thing. When should you use a function? That's the question. I think this should have a question mark. Now, personally, I wouldn't say that there is a win for using function. If you are doing something, it's always best to put it in a function. If there is a general way of doing the thing, write a general way in the in form of a function, in the form of a function, and then use the function rather. So if I'm solving a problem and I realize that the problem I'm solving could be solved in a much more general way, I should put the general way rather into a function and then write out the function in Python or any other language you are using. The idea is that if I write it more specifically, then it means that if in the future I want to maybe do something similar, I would have to write the same thing again specifically for the new thing I want to do. So just to avoid that and then to make our lives easier. Anytime you are doing something that you think can be done in a much more general way, put the thing in that general way and then organize it into a function. So guys, that's it for this particular video. Now, the, the issue is that most people or most people I encounter don't like using functions. So I wanted to make this video and make sure that I explain why functions are very important if you use functions more you get to realize like you get to realize that they are actually really necessary and they actually make your life easier i would like to entreat all of you to adapt the habit of using functions more often in your code whenever you are writing code then again i handle subscribers thank you all for the support my goal is to be able to get 500 subscribers by the end of the year and i'm um, asking you all for your hope please share the link and everything about this channel share it to your friends those who be interested in what we are doing over here share it to them and then let them also join the community 2044 here let's have fun